Long time no see. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. It all started in Belgium, or maybe even during COVID. I felt lost. I missed my friends, missed my classmates. <laughs> Usually we would tackle assignments and tasks together. We would make study sessions, we would talk about them, we would help each other. But during COVID there was less and less of this contact. At the beginning of my master degree I would know my friends from bachelor degree so they would be manageable during my Erasmus in Belgium. It was hard. Wow. I cannot imagine to be in my first year at the uni just online. So I praise all those of you who managed to go to uni at the COVID time and didn't have any friends and had to get to know each other during the video lessons. Okay, hello. But even if I hadn't passed those exams, there would not have been any consequences because I had great grades during the first semester. The next semester after Belgium was harsh because I lost all the contact with my classmates from previous year and their very first emotional crisis. I somehow passed the semester, but then the worst semester came. I was not catching up with school. There were too many assignments and each week we were getting a new one. There was a lot of stress. I spent too much time on each assignment. I spent even more time than the lecturers expected as students to spend on them. I felt really stupid. Each assignment I had to ask my classmates to help me. I felt that I'm annoying them. I felt not good enough. in every situation and for me as a logical based person I didn't understand it it was something really new for me to cope with my emotions differently than just saying to myself okay I feel that because that happened I just cried with no reason that hadn't been the last semester with obligatory classes, I would probably... During the semester there was also issue with my computer. Its memory started to fail. I didn't even know if the laptop would start up or not. So at least for my younger self, I would recommend to not postpone the purchase of a new laptop because it would help much with my mental health because to not be able to run your assignments because of not enough memory was a trigger of my emotional crisis. I would also recommend myself to not push through my software developer job so I quit but I would quit much earlier in a high side. The plan was to quit at my previous job and start immediately in the new one. But because of all those stressing out and crying sessions, I decided to quit it earlier. So I had one month transitional period. During the one month I had exams but it's much less stressful because you've already done all your assignments, you've already got 60% of your mark and now you only have to sit down and get the information you've already tried out. Therefore, the one month was mainly a mental health rehab. <laughs> 
you considering studying computer science, prepare for the workload during the semester. You usually get a lot of assignments because you have to learn the practicalities. So after I passed my exams, I finally finished all obligatory courses and now I have to focus on my master thesis. The new job. My new job, my new position is... So today is my last day at work, on site if I may say that and hopefully they will remember me yeah the area and the nature is completely it's it's beautiful so hopefully i'll have the time to visit from time to time my new job is in the same field as my master thesis it's road planning and optimization if you're familiar it's connected to traveling salesman problem or capacitated vehicle routing problem because it overlaps i feel more engaged in the topic and if my research is successful maybe we can apply it to the job and here we come to the end I would need a little help from you. I have some footage from my Budapest trip in February. Yes, February. But now, because I have my new computer, I can edit it. So comment down below if you're interested in travel vlog. If you are interested in student software way vlogs, maybe I'm gonna teach next semester, so that might be interesting as well. Also, I have an idea. I need one application. It's rather bad or it's really expensive. So I would really like it to implement it myself and I can take you with me. So if you're interested in that, you can tell me what you can learn. I considering Android or React Native. And I think that's all. If you have any other ideas, what you want to see from me, what you want to watch, you know what to do. So if you like this video, you can hit thumbs up, thumbs up, and look forward for my next videos because hopefully there's coming more. <laughs> so bye.